students today i am continuing the lesson motion and today i am solving the numericals on the equations of motion we have we have studied three equations of motion the first one is v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square and third equation of motion is v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and let us solve the numericals on those three equations of motion the first one is like this and this numerical is from your textbook example numerical and uh, you may take uh, a look at the textbook also your question it is there and i will solve the only the answers of that question and question is like this a train starting from rest attains a velocity of 72 km per hour in 5 minutes assuming that the acceleration is uniform find the acceleration and the distance travelled by the train for attaining this velocity. See students, first whatever the given we have to write it down. The given is a train starting from the rest. It means that initial velocity it is 0 meter per second and attains a velocity of attains a velocity of 72 kilometer per hour. This is kilometer per hour we have to convert this into meter per second. So how to convert 72 into 1000 by 3600. 2020 gets cancels. 36 ones are 36 twos are. And this is 2 into 10. It is equals to 20 meter per second. And this velocity is attained by the train in time 5 minutes. The SI unit of time is second and the 5 minutes has to be converted into seconds. So this is equals to 5 into 60 and this equals to 300 seconds. And next is uh, they asked to calculate whatever the first one is acceleration the first they asked to calculate the acceleration and the first equation of motion we have to make use to find out the acceleration the first equation of motion is v is equal to u plus at and in this equation of motion we have to calculate the acceleration a is equal to v minus u by t now after substituting the values so P is 20 and uh, U is 0 and that is time it is 300 seconds and this equals to 20 by 300 this 0 this 0 gets cancels and this 20 2 ones are 2 15 are this is 1 by 15 meter per second square so this is what the uh, acceleration we have calculated now and next to uh, they ask to find out what is the distance traveled by the train in attaining this velocity what is the distance traveled so the we have we know the formula s is equal to ut plus 1 by 2 at square ut plus 1 by 2 at square and uh, now substituting the values so u is 0 and time 300 seconds plus 1 by 2 and acceleration it is 1 by 15 and uh, time it is uh, 300 square so this becomes 0 0 is multiplied with any number and this becomes again 0 only and next up plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 15 into 300 into 300 okay and next 15 ones are 15 twos are 0 and uh, 2 ones are 2 tens are so that is equals to 10 into 300 and this is 3000 meters and this equals to 3 kilometers students 3 kilometers
This is what the distance travelled by the train in attaining the velocity of 72 km per hour. All of you write it down and practice this numerical. And now let us solve the second numerical. Second numerical is like this shows a car accelerates uniformly from 18 km per hour to 36 km per hour in 5 seconds. Calculate the acceleration and the distance travelled by the car in that time. So in this question, the given are initial velocity they have given. So initial velocity is 18 km per hour. Hour. So this has to be converted into meter per second and this is 18 into 1000 by 3600 and uh, 2020 gets cancels. 18 ones are 18 twos are 2 ones are 2 fives are it is 5 meter per second and next uh, final velocity they have given 36 uh, kilometer per hour. 36 km per hour and this has to be converted into meter per second so 36 into 1000 by 3600 2020 gets cancels 36 ones are 36 ones are. so this is 10 meter per second and next up a time taken that is t it is uh, 5 seconds and next to calculate the acceleration and distance covered by the car in that in this time. And uh, first one here. So what is the acceleration of the car? We have to make use of first equation of motion that is V is equal to U plus and uh, A is equal to V minus U by T. Now substituting the values, V is 10 and uh, U is 5 and time taken is 5, 5 by 5. This is 1 meter per second square. We have calculated the acceleration and next uh, in the same question they have asked they are asked what is the distance covered by the car in that time. The distance covered by the car, so this is to be calculated by making use of the third equation of motion. So that is v square minus u square is equal to 2as. So in this, so we have to find out, so this factor, so s is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2a. Now substituting the values, so this is uh, 10 square minus 5 square divided by 2 into 1. So this is, uh, this becomes uh, whatever this uh, 100 minus 25 divided by 2 and this is 75 divided by 2 and this becomes, uh, the value it becomes 37.5 meters. So this is what the distance covered by the car in the time interval of 5 seconds. So this is what the second numerical on the equations of motion. And now let us proceed on to the third numerical. The third numerical is like this. The brakes applied to, the, uh, to a car produces an acceleration of 6 meter per second square in the opposite direction to the train. If the car takes 2 seconds to stop after the application of brakes, calculate the distance travelled during the time. So 
here in this case they have given the whatever the brakes are applied to a car to produce an acceleration of 6 so acceleration they have given to 6 meter per second square but here the velocity is decreasing so that's why the value is taken with the negative sign and next uh, if the car takes uh, 2 seconds to stop the time it is uh, 2 seconds and final velocity is 0 meter per second to stop the car and uh, calculated distance traveled during the time <coughs> whatever the yes is equal to question mark so here this much data they have given and next up so first up, to calculate before the calculate before calculating the distance traveled we have to find, we have tried to find out the value of u initial velocity that is to find out the value of initial velocity it is very much important so this is to be calculated by making use of the formula so the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus kg and uh, u is equal to v minus ad so substituting the values so this is the mathematical conversions plus ad if i transfer to the left hand side it becomes minus ad and now let us substitute the values so v it is uh, given so brakes are applied and the car came to the rest position it means that the final velocity is 0. Now substituting the value 0 minus acceleration, it is uh, minus 6 and time it is 2. And minus into minus it becomes plus. This minus into minus plus 12 meter per second. So this is what the initial velocity. Now we have calculated. And next is uh, what they have asked is distance travel during this time. So yet now let us take the uh, second equation of motion uh, or uh, okay second equation of motion yes is equal to u d plus 1 by 2 a d square. So substituting the values so this is 12 and time it is 2 seconds plus 1 by 2 acceleration they have given it is uh, minus 6 and time to square so now what we have did is we have substituted the values in the whatever the equation 12 to some 24 and uh, plus into minus minus to one sum to three sum it is 3 into 4 and next to 24 minus 12. It is equals to 12 meters. So this is what the distance covered by the car before the uh, uh, before the coming to the rest position. Okay, and uh, this is the third numerical. And in the today's class, we have, uh, we have solved the I have solved the three numericals from the textbook. And let us. Uh, uh, so uh, still uh, some numericals in the tomorrow class okay and all of you practice the all of you practice these three numericals and uh, take it as a homework and these things you write it down in the Facebook book thank you with this i conclude my today's class thank you